Prince Harry's sword, King Charles, after being denied money, new book claims. A bit of fun conversation held between father and son has made its way into an explosive new book that unravels the seemingly deteriorating relationship between the father-son duo. A new book penned by royal author Robert Jobson claims that a British monarchy ignored his son's calls after he heard abuses at him during a heated conversation about money. According to Jobson's King Charles III's book, the 74-year-old grew tired of Prince Harry's desperate demands for money, so much to the point that he told his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, that he's not a bank. The book reveals that despite of falling out with the royal family, the red-headed prince remained close to the deceased queen and used to call her regularly from the United States. But it troubled the queen when he kept trying to air his grievances. This made Queen Elizabeth urge his grandson to call his father. Her Majesty found Prince Harry's cause quite difficult and worrisome. She didn't want to interfere in the father-son relationship and would urge him to speak to his dad, a source told Jackson. But a series of calls ended shortly. After it began once, the Duke of Sussex lost his temper. Prince Charles simply stopped taking Prince Harry's calls after his son swore him and repeatedly asked for funds. When the Queen asked Charles why he hadn't given in, he told her that he wasn't a bank, read and accept from the book. Furthermore, Jobson's book claims that there has been intense discussions about the royal titles of Harry and his wife Meghan Markle as the rift between the pair and the royals widened. At that point, the king would have two options, put up with a spreading stain on his reign or take action to limit its scope. In short, Harry and Meghan could yet find themselves demoted to Mr. and Mrs. Mamba and Windsor of Montecito, California, the royal order wrote.